beautiful day here at the old shop. Bam, hamster wheels. All right, so today we actually are going to be doing something to the old Honda. So I was looking on the old fake book and I uh, came across this at the marketplace. Came across a wheel spacer. I'm like, huh, that would be good for the Honda. Let me go get the Honda. I ain't driven this thing in like forever. Get started. I bought something to kind of like polish it up a little bit, make the red a little bit brighter. Uh, Cause it's like really dull, kind of dingy type deal, like sunburnt. But anyways, check this out. All right, so got the. Let me turn it off. Got the Honda. I was like, we should do something with it. So I got a wheel spacer. And then I looked on the uh, market page and I found some tires. Now you're probably wondering, why am I spending money? Well, I have a problem because I like buying stuff, as, as you see. Um, and I was like, we should take these tires and put them on the Honda. But as you see, this wheel spacer is not going to fit it. We're going to need more. So, I looked on Facebook again. Found me some more. I started putting it together. And we came up with this. Now, all total together, once we bolt these on, we're going to have about 64 wheel spacers on this Honda. That's insane. I feel like wheel spacers now are kind of equivalent to squatted trucks. I know people's going to hate me, but I, I kind of feel like if, if your wheel does not stick under your truck, and it sticks out like here is the inner side of your wheel. That's not good to me. Like I, I feel like if we took this wheel, put it even with the fender wheel, that's almost equivalent of like a squatter truck. I'm sorry, that's my opinion, and I just think that's kind of true. That's why you have fender wheels so your tire can stick in a little bit. My RL truck has four, uh, uh, 14 inch wide rims. With negative 76 and literally still my tire sticks in my fender wheel almost kind of like this but when they stick out and I can see your like inner side tire sticking out too that's just extreme but today we gotta do that because those tires won't fit on there without a bunch of wheel spacers and I kind of kept putting them together putting them together and then I realized after doing all this that I have to take these apart and put them on one by one because I can't get to the bolts that bolts to that. So I have an impact. We're going to use that. And if we have to, I have a grinder. I'll cut some stuff. Also, check it out. Bought a new welding table. I kind of spent a little bit of money. A couple thousand. Uh, bought a new welding table. It's got a pipe bender. Um, it's got a chop saw. And it's got, I bought me a welder with gas. We have also a plasma cutter right over here. And then we got us a welder. Guess what? We are going to start working on this in a couple days, building air mud truck. I'm not going to say what truck we're going to build. We've got a lot of comments and everything on uh, we should do this truck or this truck and this truck. And we can get any truck we need to, but we have to do budget-wise. Well, I found a truck. It's a four-door. It's none of these. It is a Chevy. And it's an older model. Put in the comments if you, uh, like, your guesses and stuff. And see if you are right. But I'm actually going to have to take out about a $25,000 loan from the bank. And we're going to build the mud truck. And then we're going to end up selling it for profit. So that's how we're going to do. We'll make our twenty five dollars back plus, you know, hopefully, you know, twenty thirty thousand dollars $30,000 back. It's going to be a nice one. But I bought this table and everything so we can weld everything up. We're going to do a lot of the framework ourselves. Um, and we're also going to be, uh, you know, putting you know the truck together in the shop. I'm hoping it fits. Uh, I think once we do get more money and stuff, I'm going to build a like little office. So we have an office for our stuff, like selling things. And probably a bigger bay because... These doors are big, but we're going to build some big trucks. So, I don't know. We'll have to see. But, let's go ahead and get this going. Um, I think I'm going... 
think I'm just going to start like just getting the stuff and just start unbolting everything. We'll take the, the stock tires off, put the wheel spacers on, everything like that. We got this. All right, this is the other wheel spacer we have left. And this was a single one. Well, I bought a little pack of four. It's the only one we have left. And literally, if we don't use this one, we have used 64 wheel spacers. Now, I know that sounds like a little much, but we literally have. I think it's 64. I lost count and I got bored, but I'm pretty sure it's 64 wheel spacers we have on our Honda. Honda. We shall call it the Honda. Um, didn't have to cut anything. I sprayed stuff on it. It, it kind of brought the red a little bit back to life. Um, but anyways, let me get this out of the way. I don't want to run over it. Impacts are a lifesaver. All right, so we have everything here. Um, I actually had some PVC pipe laying around. And this had cutouts for snorkels already, so we slapped those on. Look at this bad boy. This looks like a spider. Looks like a freak of nature spider freak of hondas you know hondas like they see me coming they're like ooh big honda this we call this the freaky freaky honda whatever four tracks boom and when people say it's not there is the title like for some reason with this honda people has been saying oh it's not that or it's not that like literally if it's got that on it that's what i call it Unless it's that truck and they say, oh, this is like a Chevy F450. And I'm going to be like, huh? Cool. Must be rare. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, take this bad boy out for a spin. I really don't know. I heard they're actually going to put rocks uh, over there and some uh, water, like mud pits, at the off-road park. So can't wait for that. That guy needs to come get this truck. If not, I'm going to sell it. Anybody come? Anybody want to buy a truck? Except for that one. Everybody's been saying to put this as a mud truck, but I think we're actually going to leave it like this. And some said, you know, put it back to stock. I like it like this. It's just that big old, big old fat truck, you know? Right. Let's go. Let's, let's, let's roll. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Now, our goal was not to rub. And... Uh, <laughs> I think we actually succeeded that. And I don't even know what size tires these are. These are probably like... I think those are 42s on that truck. So it looks like we're a little bit shy of it. So we're probably running 40s on this thing. I mean, look at this. Like, tell me how ridiculous this looks. I mean, golly, if you hit like a rock... But a little funny story, I had a... Uh, I think it was like an Artie Cat 250 back in the day when I was younger. Really young. And, uh, like I was following my uncle. He was like riding beside the railroad tracks. Because back in the day, they didn't really say much to you and everything. And, you know, living in West Virginia, that's where, that's where, every, you know, that's, you know, you, there was trails everywhere. But he's riding beside railroad tracks. And he had like 27s on his, he had an Cat too. And back in the day, you know, there wasn't no 42s or something. Like, you had 26s on your foil. Those was big old tires. And you had, like, 27s. Those was, like, monstrous. And nobody had those out there. You didn't really see them. Because, I mean, it was, like, that was, like, before, like, side size was even a thing. And I remember he flung a railroad rock out of his tire. And it hit me in the chest. And, oh, God. <laughs> Boy, I tell you what. Oh, man, that hurt like crazy. But could you imagine what these flingy doing like that? It's like, oh, yeah, how'd you, like, die? Uh, tractor tire. <laughs> All right, let's see how good this thing does. We don't have no suspension. I feel like it's just, this is just going to be a fail. I'll try to off-road this. So I figure we go out this road, go back, and we'll go play in the pond or something like that. Because there's no way we're going to... This, this is not a off-road. Actually, I know where we can go. We'll go to where uh, the little, oh, little river is, and we'll go down through there. Look at this. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is so stupid. Oh. I don't I don't know if we're going to be even be able to make hey, it up anything steep. Oh, I don't think we're going to make it up that. Okay, I think we should, like... 
Oh, no, 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 oh! Ah! Uh. <laughs> it's like I never have luck. All right. Come on, this is a four-wheeler, shouldn't be hard. Uh, uh. I think we're getting, we're making moves here. Uh. Oh, Lord help me. Okay, we got it. I've been, uh, I've been working out if you want to. Work out. <laughs> That's why I can lift the four wheeler. All right, let's try it and get old first spectacle. This is actually kind of a sketch. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my gosh! I actually thought about putting the big old monster truck. We got a little rubbish monster truck tires in here, but there's no way this thing would actually pull. It. And we're doing good to do what we're doing now. We'd have to have 64 wheel spacers on one. And I'm waiting for a wheel spacer to break. These are high quality eBay spacers off of fake book marketplace. All right, let's give it the old beans. All right, let's go. Let's see, let's go down here. There's like a little river area. Let's go down there. And I wanna try just to cruise through there. See how if we're actually too wide. That actually looks like we actually have a garage going there. I'm so happy. We're 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 still broke as crap, um, but we're getting there. If I would stay off of, you know, the the old interwebs. All right, I don't know if we can do this or not. But <laughs> let's try dipping down here. Right here, we should be able to no problem. Look at that. Oh yeah, we even got snorkels just in case. No flex whatsoever. All right, let's rock and roll. Give it the beans. Oh my gosh. Feel like we're gonna die. We're gonna get the wobbles. Oh yeah, I feel good. Oh! I wanna die. Take it easy. Ain't nothing coming, is it? I've learned that the train comes from the left. Or the right. I don't know which one it was. All right, over here is little area we're going to take this thing down in now we should be wider than a, a lot of stuff but check this out look it's like who even needs to drive in the water you can just drive I about killed a deer watch out baby there's old wrapper pipe let's hope not have one of those shoot out eyes <laughs> oh god I got the poo on me. Oh, mother of goodness, the hat. The hat. All right, we can't go that way. There's some drainage pipes that I kind of wanted to try to drive over and see if we could do it, but I don't know. I think it was on this side. It's like little drainage pipes. I'm pretty sure we could, like, straddle over. Wait, we just came this way, didn't we? Well, that gone. Uh, oh, oh, popping a wheelie. All right, let's head on to the river over here. And we are a uh, off-roading machine. Let's see, should we go that way? Mm, let's go this way. Been coming. Oh. Watch out. Well, I see a wheel spacer fall off or something. I'm waiting. Just, boom, my wheel fell off. Yeah, I love you, Andy. That gun will fall off. All right, it's time to head down into the water. Trying to find where it's like not a drop off. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh, that ain't bad at all. I feel like we're gonna be like getting in trouble. Oh yes. Come here, you're mine. You are mine. Mine. Thousand dollars right there. That's what I'm talking about. Thousand dollars. Oh, golly. Okay, get in this bad boy. Ah. Alright, let's rock and roll. Where are we going? Your wheel spacers are underwater. I think they're all tight. Tight as good as we can. You know, some of those eBay spacers, they might, they don't like it. 
But they're, they hold vehicles, so they should hold the four-wheeler, no problem. Alright, let's see. We can't go under that bridge, but we can get around it. Actually, let's just go this way. Let's see what we can find. There needs to be some more mud and then, like, forest area. I heard that they were going to do that here. We're actually rolling pretty good. That's not fair. We got some rocks, but I don't think I think we might not have the. Oh no, we're going to die. We're going to die. Oof. We don't have the right. <gasps> Another one. Guess what? We've got more classic stuff. Look, I've already made the money back for my like spending. Spending habit. See, look, we, we're good. We are good. We made two grand today of collectibles. That's how. Hey, I'll take it. <laughs> I don't think there's anything out here. Oh, better look for a good here. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna head on back to the shop, and then uh, we'll call it a day. I'll park this out front. Maybe somebody come offer us a million dollars. You never know. Well, we, oh, yeah, we're about to die. Get the wobbles. All right. Now, you're probably wondering, did we ruin this four-wheeler? Probably so. Can I take the spacers off and everything and make it back to stock? Yes, we can. Are we going to put it out here for sale for a million, zillion, trillion dollars? Probably so. Will somebody buy it? Probably not, because that's just the luck we have. But if somebody wants to buy it, you know, like, come on, buy. I mean, like, stupid stuff like this will draw, you know, people in. Because people will be like, what in the world is that? Hey! What? For some reason, if I park... Oh, my gosh. I can't... My own strength, man. Uh, for some reason, if I park a little close to the road sometimes, people just... They just get all like offended. Let me <laughs> see. Look, already. Uh, oh, here we go. Already got people stopping. But anyways, yeah, st stuff like this will draw people in. I want to get some racks where we can park the trucks up and stuff for sale. Um, mud truck will definitely be something that we will be selling. So that will be some more money for us to buy new toys and everything. But hopefully this brings somebody in. I'll sell it. I don't care. Money's money. And uh, still waiting on the guy to tell us what he wants to do with this. I'm trying to get him to let us go, like, completely crazy with it. If not, we're going to eventually buy one of these and, like, go completely crazy with it. And we'll make some money off of that or keep it. Anyways, guys, hope everybody's having a blessed day. This is Ghost. I'm <laughs> out of here. Make sure to get your Hamster Wheels merch at ghostworkshop.com. Woo! <laughs> America, baby. Oh, man. Now I'm going to put that one spacer on. Put it on one side of my lawnmower.